Hey guys, uh, I have not made a video in a while and today what I thought I would do is review a new service that I've tried for sending money to the Philippines called Remitly. Before I used to use Zoom most of the time and I will say they've been very reliable. The money usually gets there within 24 hours without any trouble. But one thing that always kind of bothered me is with Zoom, they make money off of the exchange rate, but then they also charge a fee on top of that. And to a certain extent, you can start feeling like you're getting gouged every which way when you send money. Uh, there's a new service out called Remitly, and there are some advantages to it. They do make money. I mean, I don't mind people making money. But the, the CEO had this idea of being a little more transparent and a little, more, uh, a little less expensive in terms of providing the service. And obviously, if somebody's going to give me a good service at a better price, that's who I am going to go with. So if you get on the Remitly's website, the first thing you're going to see is that their, their exchange rate is a little bit better than what you get with either Zoom or uh, Western Union. And we're not talking a huge difference. If it was a huge difference, then I would think maybe this is some kind of scam. But instead, it's about a 10 centavo difference. And if you think about it, that adds up when you're sending hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Or if you're sending money often, that's going to add up. Another thing that I really love about Remitly is if you if you do have to send money quickly, like 24 hours, then the their fee, their transfer fee is less expensive compared to Zoom. I think their transfer fee is only like three or four dollars, where Zoom's is going to be about five dollars. But what's really cool is if you send the money through more of their their standard way, which is about three to four days then there's no transfer fee. And I really like that idea because I know they're going to make some money off of the exchange rate. I know they have to make money. But not having that exchange fee, that adds up over time. So if if you have friends and family in the Philippines and you want to send money to them, a lot of times if you think about it, it's not an emergency. Sometimes it is. But if you're going to send money for Christmas, birthday, graduation, that kind of thing, allowance, then usually it's not going to be a big difference in them receiving the money within three or four days versus 24 hours. So the thing I really love about Remitly is you can just skip the transfer fee and if you want to send let's say a hundred dollars to the Philippines you just send a hundred dollars and take their exchange rate. You don't have to deal with any uh, additional fees on top of that. So I decided to try this service uh, the first small hiccup that I had with it, and this is just something to keep in mind that may help you, is I was trying to send money to an RCBC account to uh, my wife's grandmother. And there was a little bit of an issue because her account is a 10-digit number, and they wanted a 16-digit number for RCBC. And maybe it's because my grandmother has had, my, or my wife's grandmother has had that account for so long that since then they've gone to more numbers. I don't know. But anyway, the workaround for that it was pretty simple. I emailed Remitly and they emailed back and said all I had to do was add six zeros in front of my the grandmother's account number, which would mean that brings it to 16 digits, and that worked. No problem. So that's a little trick if you're dealing with an older RCBC account that you're sending money to. And so anyway, I got online. I, I did all that and another thing that I really appreciated is I was using my banking routing number and when I did that they asked me a few security questions to be sure that it was me. It's the same type of questions you would get if you were doing some type of credit check online. So they said which of these addresses have you lived in before and a few questions like that just to make sure somebody hadn't grabbed one of my checks and decided to send money to the Philippines. So I did appreciate that part of it too. Uh, so anyway, uh, so far I've been really pleased with this service. It does save you some money and if you think about it, even saving a little bit of money if you're sending money to the Philippines every month or every few weeks, that adds up over time. Uh, now I'll say a few more things about the service here. One, the link that I have provided you with below 
it's an affiliate link. If you use this link, it's going to put a few dollars in my pocket via Amazon gift card or whatever I choose. But as of right now, if you sign up on the website and you send at least $100, then you will get a $40 gift card for yourself. Now, I don't know how long they will continue to do this, but as of right now, the time of this that I'm making this video, that offer is there. And I'm sure what they're thinking is if they can get you to use their service, even if they lose a little bit on the first transaction, as long as you continue to, loot, to, to use their service, then they will eventually get that money back by a repeat customer. So anyway, so far I have been very pleased with Remitly and I plan to use them again. And this may be the way that my go-to method now for sending money back to friends and family in the Philippines just because it saves me a little bit and any way that I can save a few dollars and that that money not being not going into fees and stuff like that I will take it as long as I get a good service which I did so if uh, you would like to try them out you can click the link below like I said it is an affiliate link I'm just being upfront with you about that but if this review has helped you and you want to help me out a little bit, feel free to click the link below to use Remitly. So, uh, like I said, so far I'm pleased with that service. See you later.